I don't think the question for cultivated meat now is, does this taste good? Can this work? Can this be a compelling product or nutrition? The question now is, can we actually make enough of this cheaply? So that's what we're squarely focused on. Can you get people to buy it though? Well, to that, I would say like all the research we've done is there's going to be like 10 or 15% of people who are like, you're messing with nature, not for me, right? I need a brain. I need consciousness with my animal. There's going to be another 10 or 15% who are like avid supporters. We're like, I've been waiting for this my whole life, particularly younger generation. Like, I don't want to kill animals. I feel deeply conflicted about this. But then like the bulk of us are somewhere in the middle. We want proof that it's safe, proof that it's yummy, and proof that it's affordable. You know, and I'm sure you would feel differently about if I was just describing it to you on a phone call versus when you just ate the dump. No, no, yeah, right? no, listen, right. I think, I think all, all those things you hit are, are key. Yeah. Uh, but and trust is, trust is, I think trust is for me, uh, when I look at people that walk through the doors in a restaurant, like when I opened in Harlem, I, I had to get trust from the consumer just to come in and buy a rice bowl, mm-hmm. very familiar ingredient. Now it's like, well, you, you guys have a lot of work, a lot of yeah. education, Hundred percent, a lot of trust. But what gives me hope is that we're kind of starting off from a place of transparency. 